Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, in today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price, we're also gonna have a look into the Ethereum price and also want to see the monthly chart in the CMEs because we closed it for now. So let's start here in the four hour time frame in the spot chart because Bitcoin had a second attempt here to fight the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame. And as you can see here, right at $48,500 where the 20 moving average is lining up, we got rejected again. So yesterday I had another long position open and I got stopped out again because we are still not able to close four hour candles above the 20 moving average. And now I am waiting for this four hour close above this resistance and also for confirmation before I gonna open up another long position. And I'm pretty confident that very, very soon we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside because we could be in this falling wedge. And as you can see, also the 200 moving average here at $44,000 is rising up now towards uh, this uh, falling wedge. So it is possible that maybe we are coming down to retest this area and have another bounce to the upside but I'm pretty confident that very soon we are starting to close four hour candles above this resistance here at $48,500. The only problem so far was that we couldn't have here a breakout and a successful confirmation above this moving average and also in my own indicator you can see that the RSI always got rejected at the 50 level so this red line here so in theory we should see very soon here the RSI go again towards the 50 level and potentially also start to trade on the bullish side so above the 50 level also we have a bullish divergence we have higher lows in the RSI and we have uh, lower lows in the price so this is a bullish divergence and that's why I think this also signals that we could very soon see here a possible attack again towards the resistance and then start to close four hour candles above this resistance so then I will go long again because in that case the target could be at least here somewhere between $55,000 to $52,000 and I definitely gonna take this trade because if you're able now to go towards these 58,000 and also create higher high so a new all-time high then I'm pretty confident that we could move on towards our bullish target between 75 to 98 thousand dollar and if we go over into the daily time frame here you can see that we are still closing candles now below the 20 daily moving average right here at the resistance point of around 50,000 and you see here the nine daily moving average at $52,000. That's why I'm telling you, if we're seeing here breakout to the upside, watch out here for the nine daily moving average right at 52,000 because this could be a potential resistance point. And if we are able again to close daily candles above these two moving averages, then I'm pretty confident that we're gonna see continuation to the upside towards our 75 to $98,000. That is at least the target for now for a potential local top before maybe we're starting another correction down towards important moving averages and then gear up again to move towards 100k and higher and here in my own indicator you can also see that we could get very soon a buy signal the RSI is bouncing exactly at the 50 level so we could get it but so far nothing is flashing and although we don't have anything confirmed I'm just telling that we could get very very soon a buy signal similar like we had also here after this last correction when we came back down towards $30,000 we had here a confirmed buy signal we bounced exactly at the 50 daily moving average and then started the next run up here towards 58,000 and that's why I think that we could see something very similar that we come down here towards the 50 daily moving average right now at 42,000 or maybe even bottom out here at 44,000 get a buy signal here and then move on towards these targets above 60 thousand dollar at least this is my theory and my expectations here for the next coming days and weeks and we can go over now into the weekly time frame because here you can see that we could get a bearish weekly close if we're gonna close at those levels right now at $47,000 
dollar you can see that last week we closed here at fifty eight thousand dollar then we had this bearish week that brought us back down here even below the previous close here so below forty eight thousand five hundred dollar and if this candle is gonna close here below this high i'm pretty confident that we will see continuation to the downside in this coming week at least down towards the nine weekly moving average currently at $41,000 in the worst case we could even fall towards a 20 weekly moving average right now at around $30,000 we're gonna have to update these two moving averages on Monday because although they will rise up since we're now closing above these moving averages but uh, overall I think this target here at around $42,000 and here the 20 weekly moving average at 30k are the worst case scenario if we're gonna see continuation to the downside and now let's go over into the monthly time frame because here in the spot market we still have it open so let's see where we're gonna close this monthly candle so far it looks quite bullish even though we had here this big week to the upside and this often in the past signaled always a local top before then we had uh, a correction and then later on started again the parabolic rise up but uh, overall the the monthly candle is still looking quite bullish in my opinion and of course we are still looking exhausted but it doesn't look like that we're coming uh, to an end here very soon at least not for the long term and if we open up the CME chart here you can see that we already closed the monthly candle and also here you see that we don't have any kind of uh, sell signal and in the worst case scenario in my opinion we could maybe come down here to the nine monthly moving average right now at 21,000 dollar also this moving average we have to update in march because it's gonna be a bit higher but usually in the past the nine monthly moving average acted always as a very strong support during an uptrend so you can see always when we had a red month we always came down to the nine weekly moving average and then somewhere we topped out but until we saw the cycle top we always bounced exactly at the nine monthly moving average and this moving average right now is exactly here at $21,000 so that's why the really worst case scenario that even the 20 weekly moving average will not hold here at the nine monthly moving average at 21,000 in my opinion you should be going all in if the price is really coming down to these levels if it's likely I don't think so especially because on in March we're gonna have this moving average quite higher here so approximately at around 24 to $25,000 but we're gonna have to see that in March then so even though we could come into a local top very soon in the worst case scenario I think we could just see a drop maybe down towards 30 to $21,000 in the really worst case scenario but if we're coming down to 20k my opinion this will be bought back up very very fast because a lot of people are waiting for those price levels uh, to rebuy back in all the profits that they took up here or maybe that they still have some cash on the sideline to then buy at those levels down here i don't think that bitcoin will ever go again below these uh, price levels here at around 20 k and now we can go over into the ethereum chart and open up the four hour time frame because also here in ethereum we could be forming something similar like in the bitcoin chart like a falling wedge if we disregard here these breakouts over here and also here in my opinion we have to wait here for four hour close above one thousand six hundred dollar in order to go long again so that's why the show right now is over in bitcoin so if bitcoin is starting to push higher then i think all the ethereum is able to close again four hour candles above this resistance right here at one thousand six hundred dollar and in the daily time frame currently we're still looking quite bearish we are closing candles below the 50 daily moving average so if we're going to see continuation to the downside here my target is here to reach the 100 daily at around $1,000 before then here we're getting another buy signal and then potentially move higher towards $2,000 and even way higher than that because keep in mind that Ethereum is still very undervalued. We're still lagging behind here a lot. And that's why I'm still pretty bullish on Ethereum and also some other altcoins that they will catch up pretty soon. And once we're gonna see a huge altcoin season here, you can do really nice gains. There are also some other altcoins that are very interesting right now to have an eye on. But I start to scale in into some uh, altcoins or do some altcoins TA once we're gonna have a massive drop in the 
Bitcoin dominance because so far we're trading sideways here in the Bitcoin dominance right below the 200 daily moving average. You can see that this moving average is now resistance. We are trying to push higher, but we're getting rejected. And the same thing goes here for the support at around 60%. So if here we are falling below the 60%, if we're having a big rejection up here and we're not able to go higher here towards 66%, then I think we're gonna see a huge altcoin season because in that case, we're gonna fall at least down towards the 50%, potentially even lower. But if we're reaching here the 50% in dominance, we're gonna see a huge altcoin season. And in, in that case, we can do really nice gains if you're just buying the right altcoins. And then later on, as soon as you're in profits, you take those profits back into Bitcoin. Like this, you can really multiply easily then your Bitcoin without even trading, just buying the right altcoins, especially from the DeFi space, and then switching back into Bitcoin. And the best place where you can do that is over on Binance. So make sure to open up a Binance account with my referral link down below here, because there you can buy all kind of altcoins. And then like this, you can do these nice buys and take profits into Bitcoin. Here you can even buy directly altcoins and Bitcoin with your credit card or bank account and so on. So make sure that you're having this Binance account and also here you can stake them. So all kind of coins, you can keep it there in your savings account and you will get daily paid with interest. So this is a very unique feature that you have over on Binance, check out Binance, use the link down below here to open up an account. And of course, if you want to trade Ethereum and Bitcoin with the leverage then try out Bybit and Femix, all the links are down below here. And a big shout out to our great crypto family over on Discord. If you want to join our great crypto trading chat, make sure to use the official invitation link down below in the video description. With this link, you can easily access to it. You just have to go here to read first once you're entering and click here into the thumbs up button like this you are confirming that you are a human and not a bot and then you have free access to my own trading chat we have a very great crypto family and if you're interested in getting also access to my own indicator for a little donation you can get this indicator or just the live stream access because with this you can easily trade Bitcoin and for everyone that is trading with my own indicator wait here for the three hour close above the EMA ribbons and then as soon as we're getting another buy signal we're good to go long so this is going to be very important because so far with every buy signal we always got rejected here at the EMA ribbon and that's why we have to wait for a three hour close above the EMA ribbons in order then to have this final push towards 60k again. So if you're interested in also getting access to this indicator, make sure to right click my name here and send me a private message for a little donation. You can get access to it. And with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Thank you again very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.